got all the makings of a typical Steelers Ravens matchup. Well, the rematch we are all waiting for Ravens Steelers at Heinz. Field now has all of us waiting to see if it's even going to happen. So far, J.K. Dobbins and Mark Ingram on the Ravens have tested positive for COVID-19. Fernell McPhee and Brandon Williams joined Dobbins and Ingram on the reserve COVID-19 list. And according to our Adam Schefter, more positive tests could force the game to be postponed. Ravens defensive end Derek Wolf tweeted this today. Player safety, what a joke. Brian. What do you think? Should the NFL postpone the Ravens Steelers game set for tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day? You know what? It depends on how you look at it. If you're thinking player health and safety, no. Right? If the protocols are being are being followed, if you have enough players to fill the team where you have the depth at each position where you could play the game, right? The reason that the, the practice squad is 16 instead of 12, what it was supposed to be in the CBA is to cover situations like this. And what we got to realize, like this year ain't supposed to be fair, right? This year isn't about being fair. This year is about being smart. This year is about following the protocols that not only protects the people inside your building, but the people that you play against, which honestly... We don't have any evidence from like the breakouts that we've seen or the positive tests that we've seen that the actual gameplay adds to the probability of someone testing positive for COVID because of contact. And so when you look at this, if they have enough people to play, if they can field the positions that they need to field, then it is it is fair for this game to go on. Right. It's, it's not going to be a player safety issue because if Derek Wolf is talking about the fact that they're not in the building, actually Thursday night is the best night to have a team where the building is closed because you don't really actually practice. You go to meetings and you go to walkthroughs because they're trying to keep you off your feet. They're trying to let your body heal. And so to me, I think that we are kind of overblowing the fact that you have to deal with some adversity in the 2020 COVID era, that you may lose some players or you may lose some time on the practice field because of this. That's why the protocols are set in place to keep those guys away. The contact tracing sends those guys home. You have to quarantine. And so you're not trying, you're trying to stop the continuous spread of COVID-19, but not necessarily stop the games from being played. And so for me, I think that if they have the people to go play, that you do it. Ryan, I like you. You're an easy guy to like. You, you know all the rules for fighting somehow, right? Like every time there's a team fight, you always go over the rules. <laughs> well, look, if this guy approached that guy, then it's okay for the other guy to jump in. I like that. Even if you've never listened to Only Built for Cuban Links until yesterday when I tweeted at you about it, I you're still an easy guy though. to like. I started Man, yesterday. <laughs> I fit, that's good. That's good. You, you give me a full report on what you think. You better give me the right answers. But the point is, um, uh, this is not... A, a difficult thing to figure out here. This is cut and dried. The Steelers have already had to had to like move their bye week around and disrupt their schedule because the Titans had COVID, right? Because the Titans weren't following protocols. Maybe Steelers are okay. They're doing what they have to do. But in the spirit of cooperation, and I can't believe I have to talk to you about the team with whom you won a Super Bowl. But in the spirit of cooperation, we all got to get along, make some compromise to get through this season during COVID. Steelers are all right. All right, bet. We will take, you know, we'll play a million weeks in a row, right? This is an undefeated team. And we'll just, you know, we'll postpone the game because the Titans got issues. If it's a health concern, of course, you have to postpone the game. If it's that, look, we don't know who the hell has it on this team, and we think we can transmit it to the other team, we can't play. I, I get it. Then you, but barring that, if that's like, no, no, that's not the risk. It's just that they're down a bunch of players. That's absurd. The Steelers should have to postpone another game against their divisional rival because the Steelers don't have, aren't having problems. The Ravens are having issues. Be more careful. And, and like, if, if it's all over the team, how did that happen? Right. And, and, and if it's like, look, COVID has this incubation period where you don't pick it up at first and it can happen. A locker room, whatever gets infected, it can happen. Well, OK, then play with who you got. Right. You got increase like larger practice squad. Yes. Thing. Play with who you got. Like, I'm not trying to hear if, if it's if it's if it's more or less what we've seen a couple of running backs, a linebacker and a defensive tackle. That's an injury report. Like, what are you? What, uh, you know what? We're not going to we're talking about not playing this game based on the Ravens aren't at full strength. 
That's ridiculous. The Steelers, in the midst of an undefeated season, where people still don't believe in them, playing their divisional rivals, who they've already beaten, which is the only real game worth a damn on Thanksgiving. It's like the number one headline game, because we've got to sit through a Lions game, who haven't won in, uh, uh, one playoff win in 60 years. For some reason, they're on Thanksgiving every year to punish us, right? That, that we're looking for, but, but this game shouldn't be played because of why? Because the Steelers' opponents, for the second time, are having issues? I'm not trying to hear that at all. Mm-hmm. All right, Max, earlier this season, we saw Lamar's energy have a little damper on it when they played the Steelers. So would you say that tomorrow's game is a must win for Lamar? No, no. It's like, hey, it'd be nice to win. It's not a must win. Um, the, the Baltimore uh, is having issues right now. And I think it's mainly because Lamar Jackson took the league by storm, as is the case with any player who comes out, especially they designed a system around Dan Orlovsky will point out on the telescreen and everything, you know, on, on the screen, how they lose the three tight end sets last year and everything. And, and it's working, it's working. And then the league's going to adjust. The league's going to say, okay, we're not giving you the outside runs. We're not giving you the middle of the field, right? You're going to have to beat us outside the numbers. And then you're going to have to do that consistently. Lamar Jackson can thread a needle down the field now, but can he do it consistently, right? Like, that's the question. I I question, can he play under the brightest lights where he has failed more often than he's succeeded? um, Because under normal circumstances, he's been great. And now can he do this consistently? If you come up with a new scheme, as like McVay was like very innovative with the Rams, then the league is going to adjust. Now the question as to whether you were just a kind of flash in the pan or, or you did something interesting that will remember, the difference between that and you turned out to be an all-time great is the league adjusts, now you adjust. And I got news, they're going to adjust again. And you're going to have to adjust again. And what we're seeing right now from the Ravens and Lamar is that adjustment period. You know, just because they haven't done it successfully yet doesn't mean it's not going to happen. I don't think this is a must-win game, even necessarily for this season for the Ravens, although we're getting close to that time for the Ravens, especially considering the, you know, the COVID outbreak, and they'll be shorthanded a little bit and all that stuff, especially considering the Steelers are undefeated this year so far. Um, so I can't call it a must-win, but it's a, hey, this is Ravens-Steelers. They, the Steelers already got you this season. In this century, that gives them a one-game advantage over you at this point. Time to get them back. That, it's that as much as it is. It's a must-win for the Ravens. No, this is, this is see, you, you, you changed the question a little bit. It was, was it a must-win for Lamar? Yeah. Right? It's not a must-win for the Ravens because the Ravens got, like, the Jaguars and, and like, you know, uh, the Bengals, and they got very winnable games coming up. So when you think about that, they have the Giants. So they have very winnable games coming up so they can put themselves back in the playoff hunt. But this is a must win for Lamar because he got to show that he can show up in these games. Right. And what better way? Your back's against the wall. You just came out after last game and say the Tennessee Titans wanted it more than you. How can the Pittsburgh Steelers want this more than you this week? That has to show. It has to show that you're willing to go above and beyond, that you're willing to raise your game to reigning MVP levels to find a way to beat your